Hey, I didn't see you guys there. Welcome uh, to Get a Little Fishing. In this episode, I'm going out with somebody you probably recognize already. Yeah, he looks kind of like me, and he's got a little longer hair. It's Corey. We're going back out on the 18-foot skiff, his new skiff, and we're going to try to catch the old tarpon, the silver king, the fish I've been after for quite a while on this channel. Oh, was this thing on? No, oh, my bad. And every good fishing trip starts with a good pre-rigging trip. So what I'm doing here is I am rigging up some rods. This happens to be the last one. The rest are already rigged up. And on this one, I happen to have a little bit lighter setup. I can't really decide yet. I'm thinking about throwing either a five inch diesel, a little swim bait here on a half ounce jig head, or maybe I'll throw the jerk shed. That worked pretty well last week. And I'm actually considering throwing this guy around. This is a half ounce Project Z chatter. And uh, this thing throws out a lot of vibration and it's got a good flash, might be good for nighttime fishing. So we've got a lot of options here, but first I'm gonna start off by putting some 50 pound fluoro on this and then uh, we're gonna get out and meet Corey at the boat ramp. So let's get rigged up. All right, let's go ahead and attach some leader to this rod. If I'm using like say 40 or 50 and above on leader, I like to use an FG knot. It makes a really nice, smooth uh, transition from your braid to your mono. I love using the Uni knot, sometimes the Albright knot, but the FG knot for big connections is probably my favorite. It's really easy to tie um, once you've tied it a few times and it holds really well and it's got a really small diameter, so that's why I like it. So I'll show you how I tie that real quick. Just go like this, hold it out in front of me, and then you do the old figure eight pattern on the front and behind and front and behind. You do that. I usually do it about 20 times or 22. Got about almost an inch of wraps there. That looks pretty good. And I always stop on the one away from me. I stop on that one so that I can pull over my tag in and make a little half hitch. All right, half hitch in. And then you can go ahead and pull it tight and make sure it works. I'm just gonna throw a couple more half hitches in and we pull it tight. Boom. Got ourselves a perfect FG knot there. And that is all you need for fishing at night with heavy leaders. Hey, what's going on? Just got to the old uh, skiff here with my broski Cory. Those of you look kind of alike. We get it a lot anyway. Uh, we're headed out to do some grouper fishing, hopefully hook some of these tarpones I was talking about. And uh, I'm just gonna hit some of the bridge lights and uh, bounce some jigs around. I'll probably throw that little chatterbait I tied down around. But I am met up with my broski now and we're gonna go fishing, I guess. That's basically the deal. That's the plan. All right, let's do it. Yeah, there he is. Nice. 
we get a couple more of those. Those things fight amazing. Look at those things. Big old chicks. <laughs> nice. Dude, first cast. First cast? First fast, first fish. Uh, I'm going this way. He's going into it, though. You're hooked up too on something, huh? Okay. This feels big. Uh, no, I think he's going out, like, just to the tip of it. Uh, might be Big Jack. I'm getting big pumps. Coming up to the front. He's through. He's through. Yeah, it's feeling pretty jack-like. Pretty jack-like. Kind of wrapping around this piling, though, looks like. Ah, he's, like, right here, off the front of it. Yeah, it's definitely Mr. Jackson. That's what it feels like. Yeah, it's gotta be Jack doing that. There's the telltale sign. Might be a pretty dang good one though. That was an amazing first run. A good one. Kind of like that first one you had. Holy cow, dude. When these things want to eat, they eat, huh? Oh, I figured out why he was so mad. <sighs> Hooked him like right in the jaw underneath. Let's see if I can get up in there. Come on tight. That is a full-grown jackfish. It's got a little black spot on his back here. All right, let's let him go and try to get the old silver one. All right, I'm only one down now. <laughs> you got another big jack on? I hit really good. Getting bigger head shakes. Those are fast runs. Come on, baby, jump. I don't know, dude. I don't see. Uh, I don't see uh, crazy tail whip action like a jack. This might be the man. On the small rod, naturally. Yeah, you got. I would start. I would just turn the trolling motor off. Let's drift with them through the through the marker or through the bridge, or turn it and rip over there. I'm gonna go up to the front. Oop. I think this is a man. Come on, baby. Which is weird if it is, because usually those smaller guys come up fast. Maybe it is Jack. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, classic. Got you inside? Dude, that thing was big. That was big, whatever it was. 
Dang. Hate when that happens. more like the species we're looking for. One of them anyway. Hello, Mr. Gooper. Oh! Yeah, he's not happy about me grabbing him, that's for sure. Now what I'm gonna need you to do is let go of the jig, my friend. Think you can do that? Ow. Yep. He did it. Not before he bit my finger though. Little butthead. Dude, he double bit me. Ow. <laughs> Look at that. Holy nuts. If that's a guy, I got the good one. That's the Saldiga. What we got here? It doesn't, it doesn't seem right. That's not a gag. That's not a gag. <laughs> you think it's the one? Last one was what? Not Jack. Oh yeah. I hope you know my entire lower body is wet now. <laughs> Killing me on the jig today, Corey. <laughs> They've got big ones on the East Coast. I guess we have big ones too. That's right up there with some of the biggest ones I've ever seen here. This one's big. <laughs> this one is big. That might be the biggest jack I've ever caught. I might just broke two PBs in one night. I think it's 20 pounds, dude. Close. It's gotta be close. Keeping the East Coast in. What do you say we uh, move on to a different area that doesn't have so many of those things to try to catch tarpon or something? <laughs> no way! <laughs> what? We gotta get dude. I saw the dot. This is why you record every fish you catch. It's black, dude. It's tiny, but it is. That. It looks different, dude. Yeah, I know, but like the, the Keys muttons are not like this. He's got different colors. There's, can you see, does it have a spot on that side? Yeah. There's a light killing it. I'm just gonna let him go. Yeah. Uh, guys, mutton snapper in St. Petersburg. He, he's gone, he's ready to go. <laughs> Mutton snapper. <laughs> what the heck? We're just dangling them in the water. 
And I'm just like, I oh, it's a mangrove. And it has like real crazy stripes going on right now. I'm like, oh, it's, it's kind of weird looking. And then like the light hits it just right and you see this big spot. I'm like, uh, okay, I'm gonna pull this thing in the boat real quick. <laughs> Get a better look at it. Dude, a mutton snapper. That's crazy. I've only ever seen a couple of pictures of them. Maybe three in my life of people catching them. In St. Pete? Yeah, in St. Pete.